their parents have been well established at this stage of their life. So I think it's very difficult for me uh, and other people my age to get your foot on the housing ladder. You're at the point where you're either living with your parents or you're paying extortionate amount of rent. So, you know. So I ended up out uh, in this space out here pretty much from uh, it being a garage and my parents wanted to convert it. I went away on holidays one summer and then I came back and they had moved my stuff out and they're like, well, Abby, you can have this space for yourself and have it for college so you can have a bit of independence. I think it's a good stepping stone because, um, as I said before, it's like a nice in-between kind of stage. Myself and my wife were researching potentially about the future of, of how we would like to, to live uh, after we got married. My wife Jen, her idea was a bit smaller and then we came sort of, she got me interested in the idea of looking, researching the tiny house movement. And I started to see that, yeah, you could have a much smaller footprint and still live a very comfortable life. A young couple starting out or a student or an individual or an elderly person who wants to move from a larger house to a smaller, it's a very affordable way to, way to live. There are a lot of companies who are offering these small dwellings my name is Barry Alder. Uh, I'm a sales director with the Pod Factory in Lismullen in County Meath. We manufacture steel frame housing and we also manufacture pods. Uh, I see them as a, a, a huge help to the housing crisis. Uh, we have demands from 18 year olds to 80 year olds. Uh, students particularly uh, moving pods into the garden of their family home. Um, accommodation as you know is, is absolutely off the Richter scale in Dublin at the moment. A lot of people can't afford it. The one bed unit which we are in here at the moment is 45,000 including VAT. We have been approached by numerous credit unions and banks uh, who are all willing to finance them. There was such a demand uh, coming in for one bed and two bed units we decided that we'd start manufacturing them but we didn't think they would take off the way they did. I think many people would jump at it to know that they could live somewhere even if it's small, but that the place that they can call their own and have their foot on the ladder. We tend to work uh, far and live for our homes, whereas in Scandinavia and other, country, other European countries, they have a smaller home and have a better lifestyle.